up crew. <laughs> yeah, get the door, door boy. <laughs> Just put this back on to cover up the man. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> she's up there. <laughs> Now, those of you who've, who've known what we've done for a while will remember that a long time ago we did some, uh, some audio episodes, and I don't know, I didn't know how much time we would have left exactly at the end of this. And the to be fair, is... we didn't know how long it would get before the cold bottles of piss hit the stage. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about that is, is that they're cold, which yeah. means that people have pre-prepared them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, which means... This one's the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which means that... Uh, in front of me, I have some classic trivia questions. Oh, baby! This is what they want! <laughs> and by classic, I mean they're from 1984. I am this going shit again. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to read out the answers. All you have to do is guess the questions. Are you all ready? God, remember yes. the days when we did this in a small, fart-filled room in Chester? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we had a really big curry that one of the nights in. He, he destroyed the room so badly, we had to open the outside door to let the math down. That was the night I fell off your airbed and headbutted your drum kit. Oh, memories, memories. <laughs> <laughs> we start with Albert Blake Dick. <laughs> Which Blake didn't make Blake seven? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because Dick seven. Because it was Dick seven, and I think yeah. yes. <laughs> should have seen the should have seen the shape of the ship. It sounds like an it sounds like an order. Albert Blake Dick. <laughs> <laughs> What's blaking someone? I don't know, but I know what you use. <laughs> <laughs> it's when Gareth Thomas comes up behind you. No. <laughs> Two people got that yeah. reference. Thank um, you both Blake Seven fans in the audience. No, no see, uh, this has actually been corrected since. The, uh, the actual oh, cool. answer to this would be Thomas Edison. Uh, uh, who shafted who out of some kind of patent? Well, uh, Dick was the one who named... I can't say that series. <laughs> <laughs> Blake Dick... Was, I can't say that series. <laughs> Albert. Albert was the one who named it. So we are looking for an invention. And we're looking a Teflon. Uh, oh, no, no. We're looking for something that uh, you'd still use in an office today. Photocopier. Chair. Um, Electricity. <laughs> Gary, you're very close. I'm looking for something a little bit... Like, photocopier, that was a Xerox corporation. That was a bit... Uh, what, what was an earlier version of that? Typewriter. Carbon uh, copying yeah, thing. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the point. We're looking for mimeograph machine. Uh, mimeograph machine. Mimeo. Sounds like an electro band. <laughs> yeah, I'm down with the kids, I know. <laughs> Hello, we're Mimeograph Machine. Yeah, oh, and we're here to annoy you pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually fair, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we move on to the 35. What yard line do you do some bollocks at in American football? <laughs> you don't get your bollocks at in American football. <laughs> that's you know. No, that's, that's, rugby. that's rugby and that's afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they do, though, don't they? <laughs> uh, you're absolutely right. It is, some, it is a yard line in American football. Yeah. Um, do you want to go any, anything more? Well, you take a is that the line, line that you go past? That if you go, that's where you kick the thingy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you never got that. <laughs> American football is one of the few sports I sometimes watch. Yeah, and and yet, I still don't know what I'm going <laughs> to say. And yet, is it the line you kick the thingy? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is... He's right. <laughs> that's, that's what you get for watching the Super Bowl, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Super Bowl? Yeah. Um, Hell of a show. Yes, yeah, it's, it's which yard line do NFL teams kick off from? And before we get letters, this is from 1984, it was moved ten years later. Before we get letters? <laughs> Z. Z. Yeah. Q. I'd quite like oh. that because the, the YouTube barrier to entry would be quite a bit higher if you had to comment by sending a letter. But on the other hand, I would open my post in the morning. I'd just, just... You've got a letter opener as well. <laughs> <laughs> Tom lives near an embassy. I like to think he does have a silver platter that his post is delivered <laughs> on. Private and confidential for you, sir. No, I, I just like the idea that uh, I'm going to open a letter and it's just going to be a, a vague insult on my person. You know, all in caps. All in caps, obviously. <laughs> that would be, yeah, YouTube comments by post. You are crap. Thank you. <laughs> that would be post with the word lol in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your next one is higher Thatcher. Line. The what? answer's almost always Thatcher. 
higher lie. Fastest ball speed compared to lacrosse. Jeez. Absolutely spot on. Knocks it out of the park. Uh, it turns oh, out no, that it bounces off the wall and comes back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your next one is the impossible missions force what do they call us on a date night <laughs> wow that makes my answer even worse ministry of ungentlemanly warfare uh, no no definitely not 64 newtons the impossible <laughs> missions force right yeah good good uh, weak electromagnetic same joke but you know whatever uh, no the, the abbreviation for that would be IMF um, what, Where so does the post get misdirected if you write into the International Monetary Fund? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone who has seen uh, certain films like people know the answer to this one. He's absolutely right. What Do-do. was... Do-do. He's absolutely... Yeah, what, what was the name of the agency for Mission Impossible? The sound man at the back, he's just got sort of cross-eyed in his ears. <laughs> uh, your next one is uh, in tourist. Where's in... the worst place to store a bottle of water? <laughs> 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 it's when it comes out without the cap on. That's when it comes out. <laughs> I store all my water lying down anyway. <laughs> oh. Where would a Yorkshireman put things in the urist? <laughs> in tourist. In yeah, tourist. okay. That's... No, that you would be saying this in an accent as well, oh, certainly. He just oh, did. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, and bearing in mind, this is 1984. They like questions about certain countries here. Russia. Yes. Oh. It is the state-run travel agency of the Soviet Union. Oh. <laughs> Mandatory tourism. Well, I can in only... Russia, travel does you. I, I can only imagine that, that you basically went up there and said, I'd like to go somewhere, and they said no. <laughs> <laughs> For... it's, just, it's like railway station, big blinds, they pull down and go, no, 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 <laughs> police. <laughs> From, I would from, like to go on the holiday. <laughs> from what I understand from what I've read, essentially, you went there and you got your week's allowance, like, leave. But because it's leave from, like, the country, in essence, and you got a week in this dacha at the place you were told to, at the time you were told to be there, and then you returned. So, ah. Butlins, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the coats were red. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have spent, I have spent one brief holiday in Butlins, and it is not all it's cracked up to be. And it's not cracked up to me much. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when I, I had a holiday in Butlins, A, it was brilliant, but B, I was dis, dis, sort of a bit worried by the barbed wire and guard towers around the edge. I'm not joking, they were genuinely guard towers. Why? To stop, I'm not sure if it's to stop like, other people getting in or to stop us getting Why out. Why would they? I don't know. Oh, let's go break into Butlins. Because no, that is absolutely what kids in a, in a small, boring seaside town would do. You would absolutely go and break into the Butlins. They are great slides. Each of the machine gun might get you on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning dark, so let's move on. North Butlins and South Butlins. <laughs> <laughs> get on the slide. <laughs> no, no, you've got the breakaway Republic of Pontins. <laughs> Blue coats, red coats, they don't talk. Don't talk. Uh, your last question, then. <gasps> Baseball and bridge. We are looking for something they have in common. An Bats. extra... An extra card in the box, the way I play it. So, so, first of all, that's quite clever, but no. And secondly, what bat do you use in bridge? Cricket, and it speeds it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. Was there ever an iron baseball? Because you could say both have been designed by Brunel. <laughs> <laughs> this Tom. ball is superior to all others. Thong. <laughs> it's also slightly too big for everything else as well. Yeah. No, we are, we are looking for, for terms, or eight, I'll give you a point for one of the terms that is found. Terms of endearment? In, in both. Can I have a go? Yeah, go for it. Rubber? Thank Absolutely you. spot on. It's which two games have both a rubber and a grand slam. Yeah. And that is such a good bit of obscure knowledge that I'm going to. Because I like, despite all the gags, that we've ended on Gary coming out with a really obscure mm. bit of knowledge and absolutely nailing it. Shall I save this? <laughs> 
Nailed it. But Nailed at it. the end of that, it is clearly Chris that wins, so congratulations. Yes. <laughs> congratulations, you win an enclosure in which underwear is forbidden, run by the star of Face Off. Really? No, don't do this. I've worked it out. Don't do this, Tom. Gary, take it. Nicholas Cage? It's Nicholas Cage's Nicholas Cage. <laughs> With that, for the final time tonight, please give it up for Chris Joel. <laughs> Gary Brennan. <laughs> Matt Bray. <Gray, laughs> I've been Tom, Tom Scott. Scott. Yeah!